Hey everybody, Jamie here, Nomadic Rev. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the camper van. So it is a hot summer so far. I think those of you who are out and about uh, can <laughs> confirm wherever you are. It seems like everywhere we go right now, no matter where you are in the country, it's just hot. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm doing to stay cool in a camper van. Now, the one thing I will say is the best situation is a situation I don't have, which is a secondary air conditioner that obviously would need to run off power. So um, until I get to that point, I'll just show you what I've been doing to try and stay cool. And when it gets above 90, the best thing to do is find some water, find some shade, and uh, sit outside. But I do have a couple of things that I've been experimenting with. One, I'm really excited to show you what I just picked up uh, on Facebook. The first thing I have is just a, a simple USB rechargeable fan. I can't remember if there's, there's three settings. <laughs> I just did it in real time. The nice thing about this is you, it has a clip on it. I bought this on Amazon, wasn't very much money. Um, you can charge it up or keep it charged in a jack, plugged into a jackery. I have a jackery um, that I can keep it, you know, plugged in and going all the time. That's pretty nice. Um, the next thing is a little bit more powerful. Again, uh, this is a little bit bigger fan. Um, right now, I do have it plugged into my jackery, and uh, this just has a low and high uh, plugged into the jackery. It's drawing, let me see, not bad at all, about 11 watts on low. On high, it jumps to about 17. So that's not bad at all. It does use a 110. Um, and so, but this one also has a clip, which is nice. You can place it anywhere around in the van that you want. So those are a couple options. Um, I would encourage you to probably have multiple options when it comes to fans. There's tons of them out there on Amazon. Um, you know, you just got to keep your eyes open and look for some deals. So probably the coolest thing that I'm excited about, though, is something I just brought online. And that is a good old fashioned swamp cooler. Now, full disclosure, I did not make this. I bought it this way. Those of you who maybe you've never seen this type of setup before, just a small cooler um, opens up and uh, all you do is find a place where you want it. This one, this particular one plugs in with a USB again so I can plug it into my Jackery, which I'm doing right now even though it's off screen. And then all you're gonna do is get you some ice. And uh, I'd have some right here. Just gonna pop the lid open on it, dump it in there. Um, I could have probably used a little bit more, but that's okay. This is just for the demonstration of the video. And then, uh, yeah, close it up, seal it, and just turn it on. And uh, voila, you have instant cold air. Now, if you look online, they actually make like full size swamp coolers that are much bigger cooler. You can also have a bigger fan. Obviously the more, um, the larger your fan is, the more watts it's gonna draw. Right now, this particular fan's only drawing five watts, which is pretty good. And um, I will say it's not gonna make it cold in your van by any means, but it definitely is pushing out cold air, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. Just bought it from a guy who used it for tent camping, as well as he had a pop-up camper. And he was actually upgrading to a regular full-size, well, not full-size, but a, one of those stand-up air conditioning units. So it's pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited. Um, again, this would really work well, especially at night when the sun goes down because then you're gonna have less heat anyways, but it's a pretty neat thing. Um, this is just a little Coleman cooler. The other nice thing is, depending on how much ice you put in there, 
you could actually keep some stuff in there that you were trying to keep cold. But anyways, that's kind of what I'm doing to try and keep cool over the summer. Uh, being from Minnesota, the, the summers don't last very long. We'll be in the cooler weather and snow before you know it. But if you're in a hot, hotter part of the country, uh, those are some great options. If you have other ideas uh, that you want to share about staying cool in a camper van, uh, leave them in the comments below. That's the cool thing about YouTube. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? And uh, if you haven't turned on the bell notification, what are you waiting for? If you haven't left a comment, let me know where you're watching from. What are you waiting for? So, hey, thanks so much for subscribing, following, watching these videos. Appreciate you all. Have a great weekend. See you in the next one.